guys, welcome back to another movie review. Today we are reviewing Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Yes, Ant-Man uh, 3, I guess it is. Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then Ant-Man Quantum Mania. You can't really watch them as a trilogy because there's other things that happen in between, of course, uh, with Marvel. Um, yeah, like Ant-Man 3, so it's not really Ant-Man 3, but it is Ant-Man 3. Anyways, Paul Rudd comes back as Ant-Man and we also get Evangeline Nini coming back as the Wasp. Uh, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer uh, coming back as their characters. Um, and we also get Jonathan Majors, who is the new villain in Marvel. We've seen him already in Loki in season one. And now we get to see him on the big screen for the first time. He is playing Kang the Conqueror. Now, apparently Kang the Conqueror is one of the biggest uh, MCU or Marvel um, villains in like the comic books and stuff. So now he is finally going to be on um, the movies and all that in the MCU. And I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed his performance. Now, he definitely wasn't on the same level as Thanos to me yet, but there's definitely a lot more character building they can do. Um, there's just the variant side of things that really confuses me about Marvel and the whole different universe aspect and all that type of bull, really. Um, is um, They're definitely playing into all of that, which is obviously kind of where like Multiverse of Madness was and then no way home of course this whole multiversal side of other versions of everyone else um really has no limits really does it it doesn't have any limits it can just they can just do what they want really with this uh which is crazy but as a film as a standalone movie how does this fare up i actually very much enjoyed it this has split opinions right down the middle i felt things like eternals and thor everyone kind of didn't like it you know there was not many people that really enjoyed those movies this one for me, Ant-Man Quantumania, is very um, split. Some people either really despise it or really, really um, like it. I'm like kind of in the more of the really, really like it camp. I think for me, it was the most um, refreshing Marvel film that we've had since probably Doctor Strange uh, and the Multiverse of Madness. It just felt a bit different and that's what I look for in a Marvel film. Like Shang-Chi, that's why I enjoyed that. It just feels different. One of the reasons why I didn't like Black Panther was the fact that I felt like the script was all over the place and it just didn't really feel that different. It just was the same, same. And Thor was just... Thor Love and Thunder was just the worst, as you guys know. So for me, Ant-Man Quantumania, I thought it was really good. I really, really, really loved the look of the film. Like, I know it's green screen, but every film nowadays is a green screen. And I thought the effects and the CGI was just amazing. I did see somebody say that, like, you can literally see them looking off into the green screen and stuff. Well, of course they are. They're not actually in the quantum realm. I just think the look of the whole movie was great. The whole colour palette I thought was brilliant. Um, you know, the suit, Ant-Man suit, you know, the wasp suit, and even Cassie's suit like they all looked really good on the set i just think it looked fab like the whole aesthetic of the movie i thought was brill i actually really enjoyed the script the writing i thought was quite fun um there was definitely comedic aspects in there but it wasn't overdone like some people say the ant-man and the ant-man the wasp movies they're like you know ant-man movies they're very different and, and they are um but this movie was the start of something new so the the older movies kind of don't make sense but you can't really watch ant-man one and two and then expect quantum mania to just follow on from that because it's not, that's not what it's meant to be. This is a follow-on from Thor Love and Thunder and Black Panther Wakanda. This is the first movie of Phase 5. So that's where Marvel's different. You can't watch 1 and 2 and then, you know, expect 3 to just be like a direct sequel because it's not. Either way, though, I thought everyone's performances was good. Like I said, Jonathan Majors, I thought it was really good, like a breath of fresh air. Um, I don't really get the whole villain vibes from him yet, but I think like a bit of character building, a bit more movies, a bit more TV show stuff, of course, we're going to get more from it. Um, I just thought it was refreshing. Like, it's hopefully this new phase is going to be good now we've got the new guardians movie now coming out in may so that's like the next like big one that i'm really looking forward to um and then loki season two i believe is going to be this year so there seems to be all the stuff that i like about marvel guardians the loki series um ant-man all these come out at the same time and yeah i'm all for it so as for rating the movie what did i rate it well i'm not going as high as like a five star of course i am not but i am going to go to a four star uh, for me i really enjoyed it i thought it was a breath of fresh air really and like i said i just can't wait to see that they're going to build on this um i think people are going to look back at this film that ones i don't like it anyway and they may go actually it's not too bad on a second watch i think it's going to be one of them i think this is a film that's going to grow on people um over time whereas something like thor obviously is just totally a car crash but for me um 
yeah, four star. It's probably the second best movie that I, a Marvel movie that I enjoyed um, since doing my reviews and stuff. But long way this continue. Hopefully, as I say, we do get more good things coming from it. Like Paul Rudd was good, Evangeline Early was good. You know, Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Douglas. I thought they could have been a bit better, but you know, their roles were just supporting cast members. And um, yeah, I thought Kang Jonathan Majors was really good as well. So. Yeah, there we go. There is my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp Mania. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, it is very divided. Are you on the fence of not very good or do you enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.